We bring greetings of peace, of love, and of blessings. No matter who you may be or where you may be, we bring blessings unto each and every one of you. This is the Queen Mother. And I would like to very briefly speak to each of you concerning the weekly update uh, so you would be informed as to what we are doing, uh, some of the projects that we are working upon, and some of the things that we are getting ready to venture off into. As many of you may know, in 2014, we are beginning to do uh, our world tour. So therefore we are going to be pretty much all over the place. But yet we are going to bring to you the our weekly updates. Many people have um, asked that Queen Mother uh, do the weekly updates personally myself. But I would like to add that from time to time um, there may be others that is a part of the staff that uh, may also bring those weekly updates to each of you. So we want you to look forward for that. The first thing that we want to speak about in the weekly update, it is the sponsorship program, which is something that is extremely important. When you speak of the um, Weekly update. The sponsorship is one of the first things that come to mind. Why is that? Because our sponsorship, whoever we are sponsoring, whatever project or program that we are sponsoring, it is very important that those updates are not only kept uh, being to, uh, for update of the public domain, but also that those updates are given to you so you will know where we are at because many sponsors and many other people are helping us and they are backing us and we appreciate their help. So therefore, we like to keep people informed. We do have a, a meeting that we have. Um, when these meetings could be done in person, they are. Sometimes these meetings are done by a scale. But whenever these meetings are done, all of the updates are given to the board members, the directors. Uh, they all have uh, these uh, updates. But the updates that we share with the public is just as important as the updates that we share with the board of directors. And we want each person to know that. Uh, that we do not cut corners. We see the public uh, being aware of uh, what is going on and why some of those things are going on, we see that as being very important as well. We also want to bring out that um, sponsorship, because there, there is many people that do not, uh, they don't have the information on what this partnership, this partnership is about and why it is so important to have sponsorship. Uh, sponsorship is an investment that works on the perspective of development of your company. Sponsorship, when you are in a sponsorship, that means that you don't only, you don't get to work on what you want to work on. But it's your job to promote, to uplift with financial aid, the particular uh, company, project, or uh, program that you are sponsoring. At this time, we are sponsoring the K series, and many have wanted to. Many have asked, you know, why was the K series program uh, in Zimbabwe? Why was Zimbabwe one of the first to receive financial aid? And I, I could go through a whole list of uh, things to explain that. But the most important things is we had so many different schools that came to us that needed aid until there was no way we could have um, put everyone into the same basket and have them at the exact same time. The burden was too much. So what was done was the management team and the board of directors felt that it would be in the common good of the peoples 
uh, for us to have them in the order that they came in. And Zimbabwe was one of the first. They was actually the first that seek help and support and financial aid and even down to the uniforms. Zimbabwe was the first one in line. So therefore we uh, decided at that moment since they was the first, it would be less complicated if we work our way down, uh, them being the first one that needed aid and assistance. So we went ahead and uh, we assisted them first because if you don't put them in that order, you're going to have children uh, that are most needed, that have been in the need for the longest, are uh, waiting the longest, and we did not want that to happen. So to answer the question that was set before us, you know, uh, how come it was uh, particularly the Zimbabwe uh, that came up with the first in line? We are not uh, putting people over people because of our personal feelings for them. Uh, we do not operate that way. Um, we are a legit uh, legal organization, therefore we cannot afford to do it. Also, uh, with that being set aside uh, and answered, we also, it is important that we bring out to each individual and to each person that we are doing this from our heart uh, for the betterment of the people. And I am very proud to announce that we don't just, uh, the foundation uh, don't just uh, help uh, African peoples. We have uh, given $5 million to Asia uh, to help them with the clean water. They was given that uh, check about uh, five or six weeks ago. And uh, we help many countries. I will say this. You know, because a lot of people have asked and they wanted answers. I am uh, African queen, but there is no way that I would discriminate. I am not going to discriminate against no one. We have people that work in our office that is of German, Italian, Portuguese, Dutch, and we are not going to discriminate against anyone. Uh, we are not tapping Africa because it is Africa. We are simply in Africa because it is time for Africa. Because the need has arrived and the need has come up, we are addressing that need. And the greatest need that we find is uh, with the case service at this time. Why is that? Simply because it focuses on the education of our children. This is something that is so important and Queen Mother has worked very hard to get people to understand that the children are indeed our future. It is not just words that sound good, or it is not something that we are saying because it, it, the words are so uh, tingling in our ear. When we say our children are our future, we are saying it because it is a fact that our children are our future. And the foundation saw it is highly important, it is very fitting, and it's for the betterment of all of us that we focus in on the education of our children. I have said it repeatedly, and I'm going to constantly say it, because it's very true. If we do not invest in our children, we are whipping apart our own selves. If we do not invest in the education and the well-being of our children, we are hurting our own selves. So we are not the foundation, we are not helping uh, the children with the education because we are just simply choosing something that sounds good to us or we are choosing a project uh, that we want to do. But this is a very important project and I've stressed over and over again that the importance of it cannot be understated how urgently important it is. The president, uh, he went into the villages and he done a report and out of that report it brought great tears to my eyes to see the children, to see their suffering and to see what it is that they are going through. It makes me cry. 
It should touch each and every one of our hearts. We all should be touched to see our children suffering, trying to gain an education. And they are trying to gain this education because they are trying to have a future. Would we not, would we not be right to investigate? Would we not be right to find out of that investigation that our children are suffering? And would we not be right to step in and lend a happy hand? That is only the right thing to do. Not only did we assess through uh, the president going into these villages, not only did we assess and analyze the children, but we also saw the suffering of the teachers there. Not because they was complaining, but because we looked with our own eyes. And because we beheld through our eyes the suffering. And we felt that it was only right. It was only the common human respect thing to do. Is to give those teachers a salary. I am going to say this. Many people say, you know, let the government give them a salary. I'm going to say this clearly and plainly. Children that is seeking help and support. Children that needs clean water. Teachers that need a pay because they have a family also to support. Children that is lacking an education that cannot spare their own name. That do not even have the common kind of knowledge of surviving upon this earth. Children and, 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 and teachers that are trying to make a difference in our societies, our communities, and in our villages. Those peoples do not understand the fact that they must wait on the government to give them a check so they could feed their families. Those children don't understand that they have to wait for the government to bring in money to give the work. Instead of us sitting down and waiting for the traditional government to do certain things, Queen Mother saw that it was fit that the foundation and the Federation step into action and fill that gap because it is my job to see the suffering of the people and to do something to make a difference in their lives. So this is the reason why we set things in the order in which we have set them in. We are not choosing people because we just want to do something. We are choosing according to the need. We are going according to the first that had that need. And right now that is in Bible. So we are asking each and every one of you to pray for us and our endeavorment as we step forward and meet the needs of the people. Also, I wanted to, in this weekly update, I wanted to bring to your attention that we have a unity meeting. And that unity meeting is come to be January the 17th and the 18th. And it's going to be in US of A, Las Vegas, Nevada. All of you that are interested in coming, this is going to be a round table. It is going to be a meeting of unity. I have said it so many times, and many others have said it. Our peoples cannot help themselves, their offspring, or nothing else in this world matters if you have that unity. No one else is going to look over the fact that you don't love your own peoples and your own self and respect you. And when respect is lost, people are treated any kind of way. So in this unity meeting, if you want to come, I implore you to please get a hold of Lady Bless. We all know how to reach her. Uh, you can reach her to the Facebook, to the Lady Bless, or www.ladybless. 
and her email is going to be natibbless at gmail.com. Please, I implore you to get involved. And I also must say, you would have a chance of giving to Lady, to Lady B for the information. If you do not, please do not email me. Because all my emails are forwarded to Lady B. So, uh, she's the management in uh, my office. So, all, everything is going to be forwarded to her. So, if you want to get involved, if you want to be at the meeting, uh, Queen Mother would be there. And uh, we would be seated. And we would be ready for action. We want your input. We want to know how you feel about things. And we want to know if you want to get involved, you know, if you want to know what you are doing or what you want to do. And we ask each of you to please be sincere. Uh, we don't have the energy or the time uh, to spend it on people that are not sincere. But if you want to sincerely get involved, you can get a hold of Lady B. Bless at Lady B. Bless at gmail.com and send in your request. Uh, for the round table unity meeting, don't say this is the thing I want to I want to stress this before I leave. A lot of people say I don't like the way this is going. I disagree with this, or why can't things be this way? If people want to have an input, if you want to have an input, the only way to do that is to get involved. You can never change things or have an input if you're sitting at home just talking about. It. You know, if you want to be part of the meeting or the round table, you contact Lady B. Bless, and then we can take it from there. But I hope to see your beautiful, shiny face there. And I hope to hear from you, each of you. And if you cannot be there, maybe you could come by your Skype, or uh, we would have that available. Or maybe you could um, email. Uh, Lady be blessed and uh, send your questions to her and then at that point she can go ahead and um, get everything set up so your questions that you have sent to her can be addressed at the round table of unity or your opinion or even your ideas. We greatly appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for your time and wherever you may be, remember that we love you. And we care. Because that is what being a great mother is all about. It is about loving people, no matter who they may be. And it is about caring. So we thank you for your time. Peace, love, and blessings to each of you. And enjoy life. This is